Well, it's Derby Week over here in Western Australia, one of the most anticipated weekends of the football calendar. Here is my personal best top 10 of Western Australia players in the past 25 years. Number 10 is West Coast captain John Worsfold. Obviously, as a young kid, really idolised the way he played. Hard at the footy, um, uncompromising attack on the ball, really set his team up and, and played a huge role a part of that team success. It's been a very entertaining quarter. Could man take a late mark? Djakovic with him. Chance here for Rowe. This is important. He tries to get a kick away. Fantastic tackle by Worsfold. He put the pressure on. Oh, oh. courage by Archer and gets taken out. Nothing for it from the umpires. Cool. Well, they're both tough. Number nine, West Coast fullback Darren Glass. Uh, fortunate enough to play all of my career with Glassy, and in an era probably when we there weren't a lot, a lot of numbers dropping back, a lot of one-on-one -on -one contests. He took on the big full forwards, beat them regularly. Um, great in a one-on-one -on -one contest, and really a fantastic leader of the back line. Auckland to Roberts Thompson. Who bangs it inside 50? Hall wrestles Davis from behind part mark. Back of the pack. Hall, glass with strength, holds out Hall and did it beautifully, the defender. Well played there by Darren Glass. Number eight is Hawthorne's Lance, Buddy Franklin. I suppose probably by the end of his career he might be a little bit higher, but um, on his career so far, just a, an unbelievable talent, I think. Not only in the air, his ability to work up the ground, um, when the ball hits the deck, um, his freakishness around goals um, and, and probably the impact he has on a game to kick 100 goals in a year and be a dual Coleman medalist so far and, and a best and fairest in a premiership um, in team as well is a fantastic effort. Dishes off to Rioli, Rioli shorts it, here's the moment, Franklin's got it! Here he comes. 99 goals. Lance Franklin joins the 100 club. And People Power has spoken. Out they come by their thousands. Just the 28th man in 150 years of AFL to reach the magical 100. Number seven, Fremantle and North Melbourne Rover, Peter Bell, I think. Um, certainly when I was younger, watching him throughout those North Melbourne uh, premierships. I went to the 99 grand final and just really loved his work rate, I think. And playing against him when he got to Fremantle um, really showed the class of a player he was. He was great around stoppages, could push forward, kick goals. Um, he's a four-time best and fairest player. Um, so two-time premierships, I think that speaks for itself. Free kick, he overruns the ball. Had to be a free kick to Harvey. Yep, whistle's gone. Advantage. Oh, advantage now. It goes to the goal square. Scholl's there again. Punched away. Forward pocket, Peter Bell. He hooks towards oh, goal. Yeah. And he's kicked a miracle. That's a miracle. <laughs> you caught it, Sandy. That, drew. that is a miracle. <laughs> oh. <laughs> One point the difference, but we still don't know who's going to win. <laughs> Uh, number six, West Coast running halfback, Guy McKenna. Um, just a fantastic player to watch. I think the way he read the footy, the flight of the footy, um, he'd not only defend his man on the half forward or half back flank, but um, he'd try and drop off as quickly as possible and really help the other defenders out, be the third man up. Um, really courageous um, and really set up those attacking moves across the half back line. Away, McKenna's wide, closing his lap, and great mark from McKenna. Sets it up, usually kicks pretty well. Stephen Kernahan, he's kicked one goal today. He's looking for Kuda feed his bar, oh, great mark. Guy McKenna. Well, they carried him off in the stretcher after being poleaxed by Earl Sporting. Number five, West Coast, Dean Kemp. Uh, absolutely loved watching him play when I was a younger and sort of when I first got to the football club. He, he really set the um, scene and led by example. On the football field, he was only a, a small man, um, really light, but played a, 
um, a ferocious brand of footy. He'd always stick his head over the footy, win the contested ball, bring players in. And, and I think he's probably one of those players that um, has the best disposal by foot left and right that I've seen in a long time. So when he's bursting out of the centre, he'd, he'd certainly hit up Summer or Scotty Cummings. On to Worsfold. Oh, he'd love another goal, the skipper. Worsfold just bends it or hooks it a little bit. Kemp, no. Couldn't complete the mark. I robbed him of a goal before. Maybe he can kick his second. That he has done. Uh, number four is West Coast and Richmond player Ben Cousins. I think his record speaks for itself. He's a four-time best and fairer, six-time All-Australian, uh, premiership player. But I think the, the biggest thing that stood out for me was when I first got to the club, he probably wasn't the best endurance runner, but on a football field, he certainly looked like that. Um, just his desire for the contest, um, his hunger to work as hard as he possibly could and get the best out of himself. I think, you know, at the end of training sessions, he would do continual sprint work um, on top and above of what the fitness staff wanted him because he wanted to be the best player. And, and I think when we went through, he was, he was great in um, the era when we were 13th and 14th, he was one of the best players, but also when we were successful as a football side, he was, he was one of the best players as well. So, um, very decorated career. The Eagles are in control, and they're on the break again. Kerr and Cousins, the brilliant midfielders, have been brilliant. Wow. And they share it around, and the former captain drives home another. They're romping away. Number three, Glenn Jakovic. I think um, everyone can remember those fantastic duels with Wayne Carey, um, who I judge as one of the best players of the game. I think um, really rose for those big game occasions. Um, the club record holder, he's also a four-time best and fairest winner, um, dual premiership player. So his individual accolades go up, but I just love the way he went about the contest. He was... Um, fierce in his one-on-one, -on -one, but he'd also run off and create as well. So he was that perfect balance between defend and attack. Um, and he loved playing on the big stage and on the bigger names as well. Markless, until this term, Jakovic was kicked off. Oh, he goes back and takes a fine mark. What a courage there. White from behind. Oh, what a mark. Over the top. A return to the old days for Glenn Jakovic. He's been good today. He's had the better of Schwartz, without a doubt. And get a kick away, which wasn't bad play in the finish by Charles, but an excellent mark taken there by Jakovic. Number two is Brisbane Lions, Simon Black. I think um, probably really underestimated in the AFL scheme in regard to the best players of all time. I think he's certainly a player individually that's done everything. Um, he's always, when you play against him, he's always about the team. You hear his voice and communication to younger players amongst other leaders on a football field. He's clean and close, great around clearance work, has been tagged for a number of years. And, and to play well, win best and fairest in grand final years, uh, which he did, but also a Norm Smith to go along with it and an individual Brownlow as well. Um, 300 games, the most of any of these players in the... Um, certainly in my top 10, so unlucky probably not to be number one, but um, an unbelievable player. Kicking efficiency is up there at 87%. Simon Black, how did he get out of there? Ah, oh, he's pretty to watch, isn't he? One of the best you'll ever see. Now to my best player that's come out of Western Australia in the past 25 years is West Coast's Peter Matera. I think um, the excitement he brought, um, how damaging he was um, for opposition sides to play on a wing, really create, hit the scoreboard regularly, to do it in grand finals. He, I'll never forget the five goals he kicked in the in the '92 grand final, and um, you know he, he's a runner-up in the Brownlow. He's a best and fairest winner, numeral All Australians. I think it's five. So. Um, his record speaks for itself, but I think just the, his ability to, 
to get the ball in space, to run and carry, to break the lines, to really turn a football game. He was one of those impact players that could hit the scoreboard and get everyone to rally behind him. So, uh, Rue, you're my number one. The Eagles 3-2, the Cats says Barnes wins it, but straight to the run of Matera from 55. He sets sail for home with a mighty kick. What a goal. White. Mansfield and Merriman at the bottom. Evans over the top. Matera somehow gets out of jail. Peter Matera, 52 metres. Pulls it back. What a magnificent kick for goal. Across to Hetty. A delicate little chip to the run of Matera. Suddenly the Eagles are alight. Matera sets sail for home. And the Eagles hit the front.